Biden, the worst president in American history. Rapist. And with Adjust God's up, grace, Adjust we're going to make America great again. You are shilling for a rapist. I am Vernon Jones. I'm a former county executive from Georgia. I'm a former state legislator. I want to make it clear. This is a sham trial. Nobody cares what you want. The judge is honored to be here in support of Donald J. Trump. He is being victimized, but we as a country are being victimized even more by the unconstitutional weaponization of justice and the two-tier system of justice that is on full display. Trump's criminal trial wrapped up on Tuesday, but the red ties have been not delivering the same four approved lines to reporters and loud protesters that are tired of these opponents of the criminal justice system. Guilty! 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 You got to ask yourself, with this kind of organized effort carried out by multiple influential people, what's the purpose? Both the defense and prosecution rested their cases, so Trump's fate is in the hands of the jury, who aren't among the reporters or protesters outside. So the only people they're trying to convince are in the public. If the jury rules in Trump's favor, he'll consider it a fair uh, ruling, despite the constant drumbeat of calling it rigged. But if they don't, MAGA will claim it proves their claims of unfairness. You know, from the beginning, it's been a plan to circumvent the legitimacy of the court, just like MAGA did with the 2020 election. But they have to blame it on the same boogeyman, the media and their political opponents. And in the meantime, you, I belong to you for 35 years. You should be ashamed of how passively you're sitting passively by while the credibility of one of the most revered American institutions, the judicial system, is crumbling in front of your eyes. Where is your passion? Where is your impartiality? Your biased coverage will cost us for many generations. Representative Salazar wasn't lecturing the media there. She was conditioning MAGA to not trust the media. That's why she was reciting her angry words from a sheet of paper that fits with a concerted effort to sow distrust. They know that the vast majority of the country isn't in court to hear how bad their defense might be, so Trump made sure to create whatever scenario he wanted in the hallways every day. We can't put in an expert witness. We're not allowed to put in an expert witness. Nobody's ever heard of it before. You know, election law is very complicated, actually. And we're not allowed to have an expert witness because the judge wants to rule on it. He said, we don't need an expert witness, I guess. He said, he'll rule on it. No, he needs help. And we have the number one person, either side will admit it, Brad Smith, on a very complex law where we did nothing wrong. I will tell you that right now. And he doesn't want him to testify. That's because he's going to say we did nothing wrong. Uh, last thing he was bringing up there, he talked about Brad Smith, uh, their election expert who's going to testify. He said he can't testify. He can't testify. Not true. What the judge said is he can testify to some details of election law. He can discuss what the FE, what the, the Federal Election Commission does, things like that. What he did not want was for him to effectively be in a position of instructing the jury on how the law should be applied, because then he said the other side would bring forward their own experts and the jurors would just be confused by it all. Not true that Brad Smith could not testify. The Trump camp knows that supporters will hear him talk about Brad Smith not being able to testify and take that as fact because the judge did have some kind of discussion about what he could or do or say. What MAGA does consistently is take a real situation, like Trump possibly testifying, which he didn't, and recreate it like it was a script rewrite of reality. You plan to testify in your trial in New York? Yeah, I would testify, absolutely. It's a scam. It's a scam. That's not a trial. That's not a trial. That's a scam. Trump may be the one on the stand today, 
but the same forces that are manipulating the court system against him today will be after you tomorrow. Well, he's got to listen to his attorneys. Uh, it's not as much what he wants to do. We know he wants to testify. He is willing. He is able. He is uh, nothing, nothing to hide at all. He's absolutely ready to tell the truth. Frankly, I think the truth is already spoken. He was in the White House while somebody in accounting booked a legal fee payment as a legal expense. Uh, it's pretty quick and it would be a pretty uh, short testimony as far as the questions that would need to be asked because he had no part in this. From a MAGA perspective, Trump either testified, was kept from testifying, or didn't testify because he already knew he'd be treated unfairly by this third world judicial system. It doesn't matter which conclusion they eat from from this prepared buffet of excuses. As long as they believe that he's courageous, has been treated badly, and it's all Joe Biden's fault. There's no post-court gaggles where Trump attorneys recite their arguments and disruptive energy that they exhibited inside. It's all about his discomfort and inability to go and campaign. Compromise judge, no question about it. We've already highlighted to you all about the daughter, big mega donor for all the Democrats. They don't want Donald Trump off the ballot. They don't want him on the ballot. They don't want Donald Trump holding rallies, because what happens at his rallies? This is five weeks sitting in a courtroom when he should be out reaching the American people and telling the American people what he would like to do for this country. And who shows up? Tens of thousands of people show up at Donald Trump's rallies. The Democrats hate it. There's not another person on the planet that can do that other than the Pope. The Pope. And when do people go? They visit the Pope. What do they say? Pope, what can you do? Would you bless me and my family? That's what they want. They want blessings for their family when they go see the Pope. When people come to Donald Trump's rallies, they're saying, Donald Trump, we need you more than ever before. Our country is burning. The world's on fire. We need leadership. The American people are begging for leadership, and they're asking Donald J. Trump, stay strong, continue to fight for the American people and the Make America Great movement. That's what this is all about. You see, nothing Troy Niels said shows that Trump didn't falsify business records and violate campaign finance laws to cover for his payment to Stormy Daniels. They don't want their people to hear details of the case. Niels is skipping out on his duties to his constituents for one very clear reason that he stated before. Everything that we do in the House of Representatives should be in the best interest of getting Donald Trump reelected. This guy right here. That's Troy Niels' stated purpose for being in Congress, to, to only work for Donald Trump and get him elected again. I didn't say it. He said it. They just hope everyone doesn't hear just how un-American it is and accept it as the new normal. The problem with MAGA is that MAGA does not respect rules, nor do they respect the law. That is exactly why they're all running up to Trump's trial, because he's in trouble not because of some big conspiracy by the Biden administration. He's in trouble because he fails to respect the law. The reason that the Supreme Court right now is debating whether or not Trump can commit crimes or any president can commit crimes and then be let off is because they have no respect for law. The party of law and order is gone.